Hi there, and if you're actually looking to upgrade your audio and you're thinking of buying a Rode microphone because all the reviews state that they are the best there is, um, then you might want to hang on in this little episode that I've made. I'm going to be testing three Rode microphones which are very popular among us vloggers or filmers. And that's the Rode Wireless Go 1, the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and the Rode NTG. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test them here a bit. This is not that interesting in studios because in general these microphones tend to work well. But how well do they work outside and in which circumstances any of these three microphones is really excelling or where you might want to reconsider. None of the audio, and this is important to know, none of the audio here is edited in this episode. The only thing I will do is maybe have the clipping out so this the Dutch ashes that I have. Yeah, I'll probably edit them a bit lower so the volume is there. This is also not going to be a superbly technical review, so I'm not going to go into the number of gigahertz. This is more, you know, outdoors me filming, bringing you along the Dutch countryside a bit. So let's go with the first actual mic that's up. That's the Rode Wireless Go. So I finally found my location, finally. After 30 kilometers of cycling, little backpack on the top, I finally found a perfect location here. There's a little river. I thought when I do this audio test with all three microphones, I might as well find something which is outside. Loads of surrounding noises, a lot of wind. I am in a country after all, which is windy. And I found this little alcove and there's loads of, well, you hear a peacock there in the back, hopefully. There's loads of various types of ducks and geese in the back here. Um, yeah, I'm under a lot of trees, so you should hear some of the, uh, when the wind starts going, you should see it moving. It's a bit of an overcast day, semi-overcast, like you have so often, it's about 24, 25 degrees, so the scene is pretty much perfect. What I've heard in post from the shots I took in my garden, uh, the audio of this little device is pretty decent. You have to rework something in post obviously to get it as crisp as most YouTubers have, but the basic audio is good. You can walk around wherever you want to. And as you can see here, you hear some birds here. There's two little boats coming by. Yeah. And if the kids are naughty in Holland, they get thrown overboard, as you can see. And there's another boat coming as well. So this is a, this is a pretty big recreational waterway. It's actually pretty awesome. So I really think that, you know, running around with these kind of things i can pretty much go everywhere they have a reach for about 20 30 meters depending on where you are if you're in a, in a forest or a place where there's a lot of bluetooth devices it might be a bit less because of disruption or whatever it is but i personally think this is pretty cool now this is the in uh, body camera audio i'm just going to mount here the rode video mic pro plus Let's see what kind of audio that gives, shall we? So, and it's mounted, which is pretty awesome. Yeah, um, I have put it just the simplest version, so no gain enhancement, no uh, dual channel recordings. Well, actually it is now that I see it. There's no little boat passing by here. As you can see, busy waterways. Uh, the wind is slowly picking up. I don't have a muff wig on or a dead cat, as it's called, because I don't have it for the NTG either, so pff, there's no point in it. And so that normally should isolate my voice a bit more. It's now actually calling on, it's actually recording on the dual band. Let me know what you think of the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus, what your experiences are before we go to the NTG. Let's up in the gain a bit to a 150. Uh, I can definitely see in the recording that the voice is being picked up more clear. There's no boats coming by too bad. There's no geese fighting. They were fighting quite a lot here. Duckies as well. There seems to be a geese-duck war going on here. Uh, it's one of the spots I purely discovered by luck, but I really, really enjoy it. So if we kind of change the angle here. I think I'm a bit overexposed, but who cares right now? So yeah, the wind is picking up, as you can probably see in some of the leaves here, which I personally like. So we can test it later in post what it's going to do. So I've just upened it, so it's at a gain of 150, as you can see here, and it's now on plus 20 decibels. 
which normally you should see my audio clipping, especially the S's, which I have. I have Dutch S's, which is a bit strange. Yeah, so let's just see how this works out in post-production. Let's now put it down to minus 10 to see what the effect is there. The wind is picking up. I have no dead cat on here, so I won't have it with the NTG either. So I'm pretty curious how this will actually sound. What I've heard is your sound is really muffled. Your voice is pretty much on the foreground. And let's see. Oh, there are weird, weird buggy creatures around here at the moment. So anyways, let's now change into the Rode NTG. So I'm now with the Rode NTG. I've adjusted the gain on the back um, at between at eight. Yeah, so that's pretty much the middle. I'm recording uh, just straight out of as it comes. So no gain increase, no dual channels, nothing. Yeah, I'm about again an arm's length from the actual camera. I'm shooting this, by the way, on the uh, Sony A7 III with the fantastic 20 millimeter f 1.8 g lens on it in case you wonder so you know again same same setting very very calm now there is an incredible amount of bugs here so i should really have brought my um, macro lens but as you can see here recording pretty much straight out of box straight out of camera no issues there uh, the wind is also picked up so i don't know how this will actually work out in post-production but i think we'll hear it we're now at 150 yeah so no dual track recording how do you call it? double bands i always forget what it is uh, let's just see if we add that in because I saw in my garden clips that it was all of a sudden pretty you know whoop, it just boomed up all of a sudden so and the dual bands are now on which I can clearly see because I see here in my screen that one part is my voice and the other one is the surrounding noises which is a much lower uh, decibels which is cool now let's put this at minus 120 the same well that's actually a bit unfair because the Rode video mic pro plus doesn't have minus 20 but minus 10 but we're still going to do this just to see what the actual result is on the audio we're still at plus 150 so we now have the minus 20 on here the uh, dual band is still on how do you call it the two different tracks i always forget what it is 150 i just had the ultra high pass on as well The Rode Wireless Go 1, maybe not a fair comparison, but I still think these are fantastic microphones to have for any YouTuber, specifically when you're in a channel where you're moving a lot around. And as you can see here, from me, once I start doing this, you see, it picks up the audio, a normal shotgun mic, but it doesn't really have that crispy audio. It's close to you, so you can do a lot of things with them, specifically because Rode released the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is, comes with two receivers, uh, sorry, two transmitters, one receiver, and you can have up to four into it. So I really think that's a pretty damn good deal for the price that you're actually paying. And the Rode Wireless Go 1 is now kind of on sale, so you can get a good deal. The second microphone, the Rode Video Mic Pro Plus, I really think that is a fantastic microphone. I think whether you use it in the studio, outdoors, I think it's great. I think you can really use it for basically anything you want to, if you learn how to really control it and get the best out of it. Yeah, you probably need a bit of audio editing, but that's pretty normal. I haven't edited this at all, for the reasons that I just told you. The battery life on the Rode um, Video Mic Pro is fantastic at 100 hours. Strangely enough, they're still more expensive than the mic that I'm recording on currently, which is the uh, Rode NTG. And I really think this mic is, when I first heard it, I really couldn't hear the difference between the Rode Video Mic Pro and the NTG. And the more I started editing, so you hear your voice lots, you think, yeah, this mic is actually pretty good. It maybe is a bit better than the Rode Video Mic Pro, but that is really my own personal opinion. I would say it's definitely a bit more versatile and, a, and that's got everything to do with the fact that you have a USB port on the side of the actual microphone, which you can connect into your computer and it really allows you to do voiceovers. But I think overall, all three are very good. All three are fantastic for studios. All three are fantastic for outdoors. Share your experiences. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and subscribe, like, be healthy, be safe, and be happy.